Hello everyone and welcome to the uh, commentary of the film that helped to rejuvenate interest in comic book movies. Spider-Man 19... 2002? <laughs> no, from 1990... No, from 1998, this is Blade. Well, Wait, is that it... was a Marvel movie back in 1998? I don't know. More like, oh, uh, yeah. more like this is a like of a transition movie. This is basically right in the middle bef between the, the era where superhero movies died with Batman and Robin and when they resurgence with Spider-Man and the X-Men. Basically, right in the middle. This movie was wait, kind of oh like God, one wait, of wait, those... Wait. See, remember, Jova, see, the thing is, this movie was started development before said death, 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 and then it came out after the death, so it's kind of one of those movies that didn't realize that the genre died while it was being made. Like, wait, <laughs> hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. So what you're saying is that while the superhero movie genre was busy dying, there was actually a good superhero movie in the year where it got killed. Irony, isn't it? My wait, oh my god, didn't this guy... Really? Um, what came out in 1998? Did could you could you imagine arriving at your uh, arriving back home to your country and then find out that the entire country was nuked? That's basically what anyway, happened with Blade. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it, direct, was, it was directed by Stephen Norrington, who would later go on to helm the wonderful classic uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh goody! Ooh. And uh, it was written by uh, Pedro's favorite writer, David Goya. Oh, hey, I mean, this is one of David Goyer's good scripts. Like I said, when he's, you know, just focusing on writing, well, he's good. Well, at least he's not Aaron Kruger, I guess. Besides, I mean, David Goyer's a comic book writer, and I'll give him this. From what I hear, this movie is definitely one of his good scripts and one of the reasons people got him for later comic book movies. All right. Um, okay, uh, we're going to start before the New Line Cinema logo. <clears throat> All right. Go let's ahead. go. So, three two, one, click. Also, this so, is... I, I, ironic the fact that uh, this movie was basically in the hands of what would have been in a couple of years Warner Bros. Yeah. Yeah, a, a Marvel movie at all. So, well, well, by now I think the Blade rights are back uh, in Marvel's hands, uh, so yeah. the possibility for Blade being reintroduced in the Marvel Cinematic Universe are possible. Yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, hey, this film was all this film was also Wesley Snipes' last... What are these real... credits? <laughs> this, was, this was Wesley Snipes' last real success. Well, this what is he done one. after that? My probably. guess is Till probably... probably... directed DVD schlock and Expendables. My free. guess is Till maybe oh. Kevin has in plan for when eventually we finish everything involving the Infinity War arc event and everything gets back to the status quo. Maybe then we'll start thinking about Blade. That's my guess. That's the plan. Awesome. Or another Netflix TV series. So, also, or, or this right the Disney one. This girl well, has yeah, uh, this girl is clearly a bit of a loss of blood. Oh, and she's also pregnant. And the loss yeah. of blood is coming from her neck. And the baby seems to be Man, doing something. Man, Joba, fierce. this last episode of ER is actually more weird than I thought. Where's George Clooney? Yeah. Well, well, Tio, the year's nineteen ninety-eight, so he's busy off doing Batman and Robin. Oops. Man and Robin was 1997. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Re re remember, Jova, like, I, like I've just discussed. This, while this movie was being developed, the Jared died. So by the time this movie came <laughs> out, this this movie was all like, wait, you know, what, wait, what happened? Like, I'm, I'm the only one know. here? <laughs> Oh, Stephen Dorff is in this movie! Yeah, that's oh, one thing, that's that's one thing I never understood. Still pretending he had a career. Yeah, that's, oh, that's one thing I never understood. Yeah. Well, that's Hold on, thing, wanna... yeah, go ahead, Jova. That's the thing, too. It wasn't so much he was pretending he had a career. It's just like, well, he has this weird streak where he's looking like he's got a pretty good career going, but then he'll get a stream of pretty bad movies, and then he'll fade into obscurity, and then the cycle repeats itself. Like, let's see, what stage of the cycle no. are we in now with him? <laughs> Yeah, that's one thing I've never understood. Uh, Stephen Dorff's name's all over the posters as well, right next to Wesley Snipes' name. But I've checked his IMDb, and I don't really see anything of note he did before this one. Well, remember, this was back when people were building him up to be a big actor. Is he, that is he a like a recommended actor? actor? Like he had uh, names that pushed him after? I don't know. From what I can recall, back in the day, he was definitely what people thought was going to be the golden poster boy. Yeah. Um, maybe more so than Wesley Snipes. It wouldn't Harmony. really work. How, however, it didn't quite work because, as Doug put it very well, he's the guy who kind of almost has a career, but never actually got one. 
I don't want to say the reason <laughs> is, you know, biased towards the Caucasian actor over Wesley Snipes. Hey, uh, now! Considering the time Ooh. frame this movie was made in, <laughs> this could be even would not surprise me. Just enter. Yeah, sure, why Ooh, snog, snogging, you have to snog someone to enter here. Also, I heard this music somewhere before, actually. This was actually in the rave uh, during these years. It was in all the commercials, I think. I think this kind of music even showed up in uh, the Samurai Jack episode involving the rave. The, the ravers, yeah, I love that one. It's the Caesar special! <laughs> Yeah, you can tell, even if it was at the end of the 90s, this movie has a lot of attachment to that decade. Yeah. Oh, yep. <laughs> yeah, this, this, guy... this music hasn't aged at all, has it? This guy dances just as bad as uh, Commander Shepard in Mass Effect. Not <laughs> as bad as the dancing in Pluto Nash. Ugh. I'll say though, it's some uh, it's some interesting party. Yep. Who did the score uh, for so this uh, movie? Mark um, Mark Hestrom. Okay. An American, funnily enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, from what I heard, from what I remember, this trilogy actually changes director and composer with each movie. So. Yeah, right. in this film, Stephen Norrington, in Blade Two, it's Guillermo del Toro, and the third film is David Goyer. I mean, it can work. That's I mean, rude. okay. Well, it it depends too. Like for the Captain America trilogy, changed directors from the first movie to the second, but it retained the same writer, so it still ended up being as well. Oh, as it... I don't. Well, yeah, that's the thing. The team has to work uh, at unison. So even if they change people, but uh, others uh, retain. Oh, yes. Apparently, please. apparently they did film a Stan Lee cameo, but it was cut. Oh, that's sad. My guess is uh, uh, that people would have definitely have recognized oh, this as a Marvel movie. Uh, I think that's not catch up. Maybe they re maybe they thought that uh, it clashed with the tone <laughs> of the movie or something. Dude, yeah, my, uh, I don't know. I this movie. Horny, but... I don't know. This movie's not exactly lighthearted, but at the same time, I don't think it's all that serious oh, to the point where you can have a Stanley cameo. Honestly, what's going on? Okay, okay, okay. I'll just say this right now: being lighthearted. Oh, wow. <laughs> Speaking of being lighthearted, that probably came from some hearts bleeding. But yeah, anyway, Pedro, um, guys, I can't hear you. I'm cutting myself over this edge. <laughs> anyway, though, um, being yes, lighthearted bro. has pretty much nothing to do with whether or not Stanley will cameo. I mean, he's been in plenty of the darker, grittier movies every now and I then. I mean, in I'm the talking... first Deadpool, he cameos as the the DJ in a strip club. So, yeah. I chalk oh, it up to more so development issues and stuff. Speaking of which, this poor sap is kind of stuck in what seems to be a rave for vampires. With sprinklers but sh showers blood. And I think he's... <laughs> wow. Is he like the only human who got came here? Like, I guess yeah. Are they not, not trying to bite him? All they're doing is like trying to feel... I, I like guess him. he was allured by that chick he was with. I wonder if she wanted to bring <laughs> now that the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, like I forgot, five or not three years before the Matrix, uh, the Matrix style of clothing. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh my God. Yeah, there we go. Where's this thing? It's... Party's over, mofos. So is it Blade or Daywalker? Make up your mind. Wow. <laughs> wow, these vampires are such big dicks that that was literally the only human there they just picked on him. <laughs> Alright, so uh, this is Blade. He, he is the half-human, half-vampire who has all the strengths of a vampire and almost none of the weaknesses. And he spends his life hunting the creatures yes, of the night. Because in, in this universe, vampires can be killed by a uh, state by a silver stake, or in this case, sunlight, or, or sunlight. I mean, in this case, stakes don't even have to be to the heart; they can be anywhere. Also, you know, aren't for once, I will not, sorry, yeah, the beach should be. Well, I think also silver works. <laughs> oh, also, I just. 
for once, I would love to see a um, media that treats vampire that they're still weak against garlic. Because that has never been treated seriously or it always, has always been debunked in... Uh, in vampire series movies. I no. want to see once uh, a product that actually treats that threats as, as canon. Oh! Oh, well, Tio, I think you'd like Batman, the Batman versus Dracula. I mean, garlic, okay, garlic tends to be fickle. Sometimes it's a weakness, sometimes it's something that will ward off vampires, and sometimes it's something mm. that vampires cannot stand. In the case of Batman vs. Dracula, they do it to a point where garlic is something that really peeves a vampire off. Doesn't necessarily kill or hurt them, but they can't stand the smell. Alright. No, not the DJ! <laughs> that the DJ was my favorite character. Oh god, with the DJ dead, who's gonna control this out of this world 90s tunes? And yes, he is a katana. Because, well, he's called Blade. You know, it is kind of a shame. Blade would go on to have a good first movie, a great second movie, a crap third movie. It's a shame that Blade, out of all the superheroes, never seemed to really get his revitalization when, you know, the MCU brought heroes back into the limelight. Well, and that was the TV show. <laughs> I don't TV remember that. Show. I mean, even yeah. Ghost Rider was brought back in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so Blade is really the only one of the old uh, guard missing at the moment. You know, honestly, at this rate, give him an MCU movie, Disney. I mean, you've got the rights for it. I'm guessing I mean, they in, like, in, like Finn said, I guess we just want to test the waters, and the only way to do a properly a Blade movie is like this, an R-rated movie, so... I mean, nah. I don't know. I don't, there, I don't know to, there are plenty of ways to do Blade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even, if, oh God, that was awesome. even PG-13, I think, can work if they know what they're doing. Yeah. I mean, Blade, I mean, we've seen Blade work on PG-13 stuff. He's shown up in some Spider-Man games, so, yeah, gotta be PG-13. He didn't Blade even get... Sucks, Coxie, now. Blade didn't even get a Fox Kids TV show back in the 90s. I mean, all he did was uh, a cameo appearance in the Spider-Man animated series, but that's because about it. Because of more abuse. Oh, so, yeah. And now he's on yeah, fire. Yeah. Oh. Okay, uh, so Blade knows how to tell a vampire from a human. Bear this in mind for Blade Trinity. Alright. Nothing to see here, Agent, sir. Uh, nothing to see here, just a man on fire and a man covered in blood. It's the typical place in wherever the city is. Again, that poor sap. That vampire yeah, was... Such... Are we in New York? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we are. There's no... Well, it, it was filmed in Los Angeles. Well, remember, so yeah, yeah, but there. However, well, okay, it wouldn't be the first time they tried to portray Los Angeles as New York. Do they ever say where we are, Dwebs? Let me check the synopsis. No. Well, here's the thing. Well, Jova, c considering... Uh, like I said, um, Spider-Man and Blade do work together in the animated series. Maybe Blade is somewhere in here w w exactly because of that? I don't know. Wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, uh, synopsis give you anything to you? No, sadly doesn't tell the... doesn't seem to tell the location. Then I guess we can easily assume New York because most Marvel heroes are legally obligated to operate in yeah. <laughs> So, this vampire has diabetes? Probably. Well, um... Hey, babe, we've got deep-fried vampire for breakfast. Yeah. Tasty. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. No, this is not Technobabble. These are actual biological... Also, I've seen this chick before. Okay. History. Not very good history from the sounds of it. Um, this woman's Dr. Karen Jensen, played by Nabushi Wright. Right. I feel like I've heard that name before. And I've seen her face face before, so let me check what Nabushi she's Nabushi from. Right. She's, a, she's a Brooklyn native. Nabushi Wright. Nabushi Wright. Ew. 
well, uh, yeah, well, let's have a big ball season. 910 has a talent for these kind of effects. You what know, are you uh, doing? You should do a Y shaped cut. Depends. Or as a vampire, so uh, it might work a bit differently. Anyway, no, surprisingly, I don't mm. seem to see the, the the knowing that much of the rest of the career of his actress, but I. Oh. oh Jesus fuck. Oh, yeah, apparently, New Line wanted this film to be a spoof of sorts, but, but Goya convinced them to do. So let me so let me get this straight. The Steel movie, which would have worked better as a spoof, was not a spoof, and well, it turned out the way. But Blade, uh, they actually got... wanted to make Blade a spoof. Well, New Line did. I don't understand. Like Man, Blade they didn't, they, 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 didn't its... they didn't think this particular superhero would work unless if it... yeah. I wonder if it was because he was black, like a lot of other times. Nah, oh, I, sure. nah. nah <laughs> I, I, honestly, Joe, I don't think it's because of that. I think it's more so because the, the overall concept of the superhero and the overall uh, style and mythos, they probably didn't believe it in its. Wow, that is it. So, oh. oh. Maybe. <laughs> oh, fuck you, uh, dead, man. Is that you meant to throw the police no off? What it was most likely, Joe, is that they didn't. They thought this was looked. This looked and sounded stupid, so they figured it should be a spoof. Well, well apparently, well, apparently, when they when they finished the first cut of the film was two hours and twenty minutes long, and the test screenings were disastrous. So they had to put the film back half a year, so they could do a lot of heavy editing, heavy heavy editing, and reshoots. And he, that's and that's the reason we get a final sword fight with the main villain at the end. So I guess it's a game for us. And there you go, Jova. That explains it even further because of that delay. Yeah. By the... <coughs> oh. uh, and then he bites her. Blade? Was it? Is he going to yes. bite her to make her his vampiric partner, like in Helsing? Sorry, Jova. Uh... No. <laughs> oh, not a fan of Helsing. Actually, no, Jova, but uh, I actually love it, uh, even though in time I kind of prefer, the, I tend to headcanonly consider the Abridge series better. Oh, but well, it's a, yeah, absolutely. It's, a for another time. It's, it's pretty just, much. Just be assured, Jova, that I love the franchise in general. Oh, don't get me wrong, me too, but I get where you're coming from. It's kind of like the effect Team 4 Star tends to have when they do a bridge dubs. Like, sometimes they make the characters arguably even better, like Perfect So. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. So yeah, oh, yeah. Um, well, we managed to rescue her, but she's on a bit of a ticking clock. And of well, course, yeah, it she, has, the she has lost so much blood in being beaten by a vampire. So Blades is either t has to finish her off. Uh, she goes too much. Uh. Of course, it wouldn't be a Marvel movie if, of course, police force went after the hero more than the actual bad guys. <laughs> third film's the worst with that. Well, in the third film, there was a sort of justifiable Jesus. reason. Yeah. Anyway, um, the reason I brought up the possibility it might be because they doubted a black hero page was because it is a trend Hollywood tends to have. Like, let's not forget that was the case with Black Panther in the year 2018, for Christ's sakes. But, who knows, maybe it, uh, but I guess it's best to give them the benefit of the doubt. So, the next day... Uh, TT's uh, Frank Miller will be so proud. You know, okay, now here's the weird thing. Despite the fact that this movie is definitely widely regarded to be pretty great nowadays, back then it apparently was mixed with a Rotten Tomato score of 54%. Odd. The fact that, the like, for comparison, the fact that the woman in black has technically a higher tomato score, yeah, that says a lot. Maybe it was the different tastes or trends of the time? I suppose. Oh, but... yeah, um... I so, think this movie deserves a bit better than that. So yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, in terms of a successful superhero movie starring a black actor, uh, this film beat Black Panther to the punch by 20 years. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I mean, of course it's well, a great movie. Problem is, nobody seemed to really talk that much about it afterwards. Well, it, it, okay. It's probably, again, Jove, it's because it, it was in that period of transition where people busy just stopped caring about superhero movies after Batman and Robin. It's a shame because, I mean, the sequel is good, so what happened? Well, here's the thing. Uh, well, first of all, Dwebs, it's not like Marvel ever c tried to advertise it as their f oh. as the first, uh, you know, African-American star. I don't think Marvel did. It's just quite a few other people that did. 
Anyway, well, I think these... it's also because Black Panther was like the first superhero movie to have a main black cast. Well, and, mo- and most of the cast too, not just one. That's what I and mean. And now we got Chris cast. Christopherson as um, as Whistler, Blade's um, partner, and mentor, and weapons me. It also yeah. it also has to do with the fact that while the movie is good, this movie is good. It's not exactly spectacular like Black Panther is. So true. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. The, you know. For the record, in terms of sales, it costed forty-five millions and actually grossed one hundred and thirty-one point two million. The primary been... point, the, the basic point of this is this movie did well enough to spawn two sequels, but not enough to really become iconic in popular culture or anything. It's just kind of, it's just kind of been forgotten by this point. Not only that, but which is um... a shame. Oh, it did, me, it it, I honestly don't think it did the job it was supposed to do, convince people on uh, on reading the comic books based on this. Like Teo said, it also has to do yeah, with the... Yeah, that t- actually is a good point. It's like, I mean, that's a well, big I've watched Well, I've watched all the MCU films, but it has exactly had me go, go read a comic book. Well, well, that's not to say not it's a guaranteed... A... Oh, well, oh, Whistler, a bit more delicacy, please. <laughs> Then again, time be of the essence, so yeah. Well, we it's go to, it's to try time. and stop her turning. It, like Teo said, it also has to do with timing. This movie came out at the worst possible time. At, yeah. at, at, at a time where people were just done with superhero movies. Especially, not just Batman and Robin, like, keep in mind, these were around the years where that thing like Spawn came out, so people were kind of done with edgy superhero stuff. It was the wrong... Oh, apparently... It boils down to this. Yeah. It was the wrong movie at the wrong time. <laughs> it Gee, had a guys, lot of things I wonder if it. these people are evil. Oh, Tio, oh. I'm sure they're just corporate producers. <laughs> they're not that. necessarily... Not, apparently, at least... A- According to TV tropes, at least, and at least according to the script, it's not mentioned in the movie. Uh, it's set in New Orleans. Oh, is it? All right. Wow. But it was shot in Los Angeles and uh, Death Valley. Yeah, I mean, this so, looks, it looks I'm nothing guessing, like New Orleans. I'm guessing this is the super secret council of vampires. The evil ones, yeah. Wow, what a shock. <laughs> what, a, what a shock. Vampires are evil businessmen. The only way we could go go all the more further is if we make yeah. them Republicans. Like oh the yes, Simpsons there's movie. our uh, there's hey, our main villain, Stephen Dorff, who did anything? Did he do anything of note before this? Up until this point, no. And his only major famous role after this was Alone in the Dark. You are a disgrace to the Vampire Nation, Frost. Of course, he plays. If we a break sl- the treaty, if we gather in numbers. The human politicians will make our lives very difficult. Oh my god, they are Republicans! Or maybe <laughs> not, but they this. still seem to be talking politics. If your blood were pure. What language... What language is... Oh, it's Slavic, apparently. But anyway, like don't worry, do... the copies have subtitles. Alright. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so... Most orthodox. Oh, I know this trope. Let me guess. Steven Dorr plays the villain who's the slacker. He's totally not going to be the main villain because he has superiors, but he's probably going to end up killing them and usurping them. Jova, it's the new, the, the new mafia generation thing where the old guy has the rules and uh, the decorum, while the new generations are cocky and brat and uh, they just want to take over so they can be drunk with power. So yeah, let's take into consideration, Blade had at least three major things going against it. First off, it was a superhero movie. Batman and Robin soured that. Secondly, it was definitely one of the more edgy ones, which Spawn soured. And then third, uh, again, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt in society, but the fact that the last superhero of having a black main cast was uh, Steel with Shaquille O'Neal... Yeah. Yeah. Again, Steel would have been a much better movie if it was played as a spoof. I mean, no offense to Shaq, but let's be quite honest, that movie just screams. So they're firing him? Um, okay, fine. Is oh. there anything else to discuss? Yeah, that then what good will your offshore resources be? Also, I love how one of the vampires' name is, is Donald. Gaetano. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. Gaetano name. 
uh, while, while while nothing's going on right now. Um, apparently, there's a scene there's a scene later on where Blade and Frost interact for the first time. Um, it was Stephen Dorff's first day on set, and he's trying to establish his character's motivation and stuff. But Snipes was becoming impatient with that and tried to talk to Stephen Dorff about it, who was who was really overwhelmed since apparently there are a lot of um, up and coming directors visiting the sets, like David Fincher, which wasn't helping his tension at all, forcing Snipes to use his producer authority. Well, this sounds like one of the good cases where he used producer authority, especially if it's against David Fincher. Ugh. Yeah, apparently Snipes was um, telling Dorf, you have to trust in me, mate. I'm not only the lead, but I'm also the producer. And Snipe, in, in the commentary, Snipes was like, there wasn't much trust there for a while. You know, tax evasion and his certain comments he would make about Ryan Reynolds aside, Wesley Snipes is a decent enough guy. That's not to say he hasn't screwed up massively, but he definitely does have good charisma on him when he's doing good. All right, okay, then, you tax evasion me. aside. And it, oh, even from his even even you know, in terms of like direct to DVD films, it's not like he's uh, uh, Steven Seagal. He actually does stay in shape. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's right, one thing Eddie, I don't. You may oh, have a lot of questions right now. And no, it's not a drunken one night stand this time. Yes. Oh, you know who was also considered to play Blade? Who? Oh, let me. Um, oh, let me guess. Uh, uh, Demon Way answer. No. Um, at first, they were considering LL Cool J. Really? Why? Then Denzel Washington, and then Lawrence Fishburne. Huh. Interesting picks. Oh, and I mentioned David Fincher earlier. He was apparently going to direct this film, but he dropped out. Thank, Thank God. God. <laughs> Can you imagine if they got instead Ice Cube to be played? Uh, oh, Ice Cube would be cool. Isn't, isn't Ice Cube a director or something? Let me put it like this. Ice Cube is good when he's not trying to do kid-friendly stuff. Hmm. It's when he's trying to do kid-friendly stuff that we may have a problem here. Who Blade else is such a weeb, but he keeps his katana under a uh, rug. So, who else has seen Are We There Yet and Are We Done Yet? No, no. not me. Oh, uh, those are some special uh, I wouldn't touch this. Yeah, I wouldn't- Oh, oh Jesus. Well, yes. he's uh, cautionary, I'll give him that. Don't touch that. Please. Rawr, 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 rawr. See, that's what the beast from Beauty and the Beast needed. Spikes to protect the rose. <laughs> yeah. He, well, if it was set in modern day, they'd probably do that. <laughs> I'm just trying to be the new Samuel. Rawr, rawr. But yeah, um, if there's one weakness that Blade does have, is is that he still has the bloodlust of vampires. So to but try and control it, yeah, so to control it, he has to be injected a lot with a dose of um, serum. Now you're probably thinking, folks, gee, the fact that he's pretty much a powered-up vampire who has less of the weaknesses but most of the strengths, that sounds like a dream come true. <laughs> well, let's not forget, this is a Marvel superhero, so of course there's got to be comebacks. Okay, okay, Whistler, you really need to work for your injection skills. Part of me wonders if he enjoys doing it this way. Oh, Wesley, and all, hey, Wesley Snipes type to a chair. Mm, that's good! That's some good scenery to chew! <laughs> he has to have a mouth guard in him to uh, make sure. Now, I really, now, Wesley, I need to need you to look like you're really, really constipated. Yes. <laughs> Was it good for him or for you? Probably oh, both. both yeah. oh, Oh, oh dear. It's raping time. You know, Whistler, maybe here. you can actually try talking to these people. Don't let me raise the voice of my tone or I should. We're the good guys. Oh, um, uh, oh yeah, by the way, I'm the main star here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need teleports behind you. That's a bit of a waste of gasoline. And I love how and he lights his cigarette it. near it. Like, okay, Whistler, Whistler. Do you have a death wish? Yeah, I mean, Whistler, you're uh... not bitten by vampires yet. This death wish doesn't make sense. 
the vampires are everywhere, guys. I mean, for all we know, Pedro could be a vampire. Well, you know, it's the Marvel Universe where we have a being who can devour planets. I mean, that's the thing. Uh, we, uh, for example, you probably know dreams, but me, Pedro, and Jova still don't know if she really is a cat or not, so... I've True. seen her in person, she's not. Are you sure? Have you seen Maybe her during her the full moon? Dreams. I've checked, um, Not to I've mention checked... Dwebs, haven't you learned anything from Scooby-Doo and Zombie Island? That doesn't make her not dangerous by any means. <laughs> well, I can only... Guys, I can, I can only check visually, but I assure you she's not a cat. How do you know that she's not secretly a cat creature like the it's ones a, in, it, it, in Scooby-Doo like, Zombie it's Island? Like the, it's like that movie, Bay Leaves, uh, you need a pair of sunglasses. I've met her three times. Also, you really... Uh, you have a, a torchlight uh, with UV rays. It's to test whether or not it'll burn a vampire. Yeah, but at the minute it's a bit bulky. Yeah. yeah, blade's so big anyway, he can just oh, carry people. Really? He's wearing all that armor with no issue. It's look like... uh, to the back gate. Oh wait, no, this is Marvel. Yeah, were there video games tied to this trilogy? Yes. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. One for Blade One and one for Blade Two. Blade Trinity didn't get one. Oh, the shock. So, were the games good? Uh, from what I hear, no. The first one seems to be mixed, uh, the second... Uh... Yeah, both were mixed. <laughs> Look, honey, rule number one, just don't form a romantic relationship with Blade. He's a Marvel superhero, so that means tragedy may hit. And, you and may rule number two, going... Tragedy. And rule number two, um, there will always be a reason why to go to the police. For we know the police could be vampires. Or they could be run by Kingpin, who's currently the well, mayor. maybe not during the day, because, you know, we all, as we know, vampires, um, don't like the daylight. It would suck if there were an evil hybrid like Blade who can walk okay. around in sun. And also, in this universe, Garlic can't kill them exactly, but it's, uh... It's from, it's it's more of an annoyance. From what I can so understand, what said before. From what I can understand, I've never really known garlic to actually kill vampires. Like you know, definitely be something that could damage or annoy them. But I don't think I've ever seen any media where it kills them. Very rare. I remember a couple of stories that they had. That is the solution. But again, it's always treated more in the silly the way, probably because of. The fact that it's a, a very unconventional weapon against I the of the night. I guess to be fair, Garlic would maybe be the easiest thing to get for like any random schmo. So, oh, yeah. so while it's a good thing to have it be weakening vampires to ward them off, having it kill them might be I don't know, a bit I think silly. I think this film's success was also helped in that not a lot of people even knew it was based off a comic book. Yeah. Agent Coulson? It, it, it's similar to Men in Black. Men in Black technically is also based on a Marvel comic. But it was bought by Marvel, not created by them. True. Reminds me of how Marvel had the rights to Transformers, but then lost them. Yeah. Could you imagine how awesome it would be to have a Transformers in the MCU? There was actually a short time when Transformers were in the Marvel Steven, continuity. what are you doing? Yeah, he's, in, he's somewhere where he's not allowed. And Can't you see? I'm trying to... I'm trying to plan my future career here, yo. Yeah, um, oh, uh, just one word of warning. Uh, if some guy named Uber Bowl comes up to you, just say no. Tell him to go back to running his restaurant. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Who plays uh, the guy, Tom? Let me check. <laughs> I'm talking here! He <laughs> became uh, he became the uh, the gatekeeper, Dreams, for a second. Answer me! <laughs> Answer me, oh my god! But why are you slapping a vampire around? Because, because, because he can. Remember, dreams. We are operating on mafia logic, so respect and honor. <laughs> anyway, this uh, Gaetan is voiced by, by, sorry, played by Udo Kier, a German English actor. Let me check. Wow, well, wow. he was he was Dracula. In, he, he was Dracula actually in a '74 Dracula movie. So there you go. Apparently, apparently that in. These vampires speak in a language called Slavic. 
makes sense that they're from Transylvania. Anyway, you know what's funny? So Stephen Dorff interacting with a German. It's like this was foreshadowing Alone in the Dark for him. Oh, it was also Ines Ventura first movie. Who, Stephen Dorff? No, no, Udo Kier. Oh. You know, actually, I wonder, after Alone in the Dark, did Stephen Dorff's career ever pick back up? No, no. like I said, he, oh, dear. he, he well. still did stuff, but it wasn't. Uh, Zapateria, what? Well, Java, nothing like a new Vapol movie to destroy an actor's career. Yeah. They're everywhere. Well, bye then. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I don't know. Be careful. Monster Family showed that vampires can don Iron Man suits to go out in daylight. Yes. And even if they can't, they'll have people doing their dirty work. Say people won't be doing their dirty work for them. True. All right, the most famous role that I can tell you Stephen Dorff is starring, well, he has yet to start in, he's about to have a role in uh, season three of True Detective. That's literally it. Uh, oh, next guy. year. Yeah, oh yeah, there's a, there's a thing. Uh, those are the marks of the, um, uh, oh, crap, I've forgotten the Basically, name. Basically, if I recall correctly, the rules in this universe is that vampires have their own acolytes, kind of like which are not completely vampires themselves, but they're basically branded as their servants or pets. Yeah, they do their, they do their dirty work for them. But they are basically, since they're branded, they're extremely loyal to the vampires. Mm. How much of that is their own? Well, that's up for debate. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, I got the name for it. The familiars. There you go. Wait. Familiars are the ones that do the vampire's dirty work during the daytime. Aw, oh, shame that they're not animals just transformed to look like humans. They will be like in, uh, don't tease me, oh. bro. Uh, maybe they are? They're behind there. Oh, maybe Hands not. Hands mine now. So it's like, again, just like in Alone in the Dark, where uh, Carnby is walking down that hallway, you think something is haunting him, and then there's nothing. Well, mm. actually, this is a bit better in that they're still in the same building. It doesn't cut to a completely different scene, so there is still a degree of danger. True. And for all we know, they're already in there with her. Well, she's uh, packing her bags and trying to get the hell out of Dodge. It's a good thing she did not have a complex lie before her transformation. Oh, well, don't no, worry. No, no, she, she, she managed to, uh... No, no, she managed to... Uh, oh. Hello. Yeah, totally. This totally isn't suspicious. Your behavior is most suspicious. Yeah. Karen Jensen, I'm arresting you on suspicion of, um... Kevin Patrick, uh, that's who plays these, uh... This Looks one. like Chris Pine. <laughs> With uh, just a pinch of Rob uh, Schneider. Let me guess, look. You have reported that this woman has been kidnapped, and the cop would of course just say, Are you okay? <laughs> right. Not even a warrant. <laughs> oh. That's <laughs> nice. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally teleports <laughs> behind you. Should I bring personal? Oh, yeah. Should I brought a silver bullets? Maybe. <laughs> uh, he's just a civilian. Vampire wannabe. I know, oh, I know that it's just want a... to be turned into a vampire. Yep, that's right. There's some people who actually. So, want to yeah, they're literally going. Literally, <laughs> senpai notices me. Yeah, kind of. oh, I, I love that bit there. You use me as bait. Get over it. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, you have that mark and you at least they'll be not yeah, much danger of being killed and used, and used to and used to power the disco's blood blood rain. 
Apparently <laughs> something bad happens if another vampire tries to mess with... Well, them. again, it's a, yeah. we're operating on Mafia logic. Basically, it means that uh, we're part of that kind of turf and you don't have to interfere with that. I wonder if vampires can sense it. Also, yeah, Blades... Blades <laughs> <laughs> It's fake. He's trying to pinch his jewelry so he so 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 and Whistler can keep funding their stuff. But, uh... It was fake. Well, well, well... Pilfering blood transfusions. I mean, it makes sense that vampires will secretly infiltrate to own blood banks. So... Uh, I, I don't oh. think doing it in public is the best idea. Does it? It's okay, people. We're just filming. Don't worry. Especially when he's dressed mm -hmm. as a police officer. Go fuck yourself, India. <laughs> uh, Blade, no. Uh, what are we doing? Blade, aren't you usually nope. supposed to be more covert than this? Well, okay, at least he didn't take the shot. Yeah. Time to blend in. Blade Trinity. Again. Oh, the, don't even the, get me the, started the on the beyond. Yeah, there's a word you don't... I smell a trailer line. Hmm, yes, let's see. There's an entire word you don't believe in. You destroy it. Hey, I said you useless. I'll get out of it. Blade, we'll remember that. Yeah, and also the fact that you used me as bait, so I think I'm safest for you. Yeah, but there is Time no Time passage! <laughs> what does this shot mean? You need to start thinking, uh, like Steven Dourif. Yes. Oh, there he is. What an idiot. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, but I remember earlier she was like, nobody's that stupid. Lady, welcome to the Marvel Universe. Well, a bit of it, at Wee. least. Uh, fast forward, uh, guys. <laughs> what does this, the one of you press the fast Jay, forward? Jay, you stop this crazy thing. Ah, yes. <laughs> this is one trend of the '90s that, even with good movies, was pretty hokey unless it had a good reason for it. It looks like it. it looks like 1960s editing. You know, I, I will. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Right, just to show that vampires are out there. Not just no. The, I think that was the guy who got burned, uh, and we're showing that he's recovering. So, I think, okay, Blade 2 is definitely better. I think part of the reason Blade 2 is the best movie is because Blade 2 had refinement. You know, they learned from the mistakes of this movie. And also, Blade 2 shook off a lot of the silly 90s trends. Not to say 90s trends are always a bad thing. It's just, um, in, in like 1998 films, you could tell 90s trends were, uh, <laughs> well, they felt more like an obligation than an actual part of the movie at times. Well, Blade 2 came out in 2002, so... Yeah. Yeah, um, from what I recall, Blade 2 is definitely the best of the Blade movies. Seems to be a lot of a trend here of trilogies, where the second movie is the best. I guess it's because the, the second movie, that's often the point where you know you've learned from the first movie, and you don't run the risk of the third movie running out of steam. Yeah, forget what you've seen in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, holy water, ho garlic and holy water don't work. I don't know, crosses, I mean, crosses and holy water, don't yeah. work. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, do you have an invitation? Yeah, yeah, this is a Japanese. Uh... There's my invitation. <laughs> Keep the change. <laughs> Classic. You see, DMC, they let me cry, this is kind of how you do it. Speaking of DMC, I see we've got some schoolgirls that look like they came right out of Devil May Cry 3. Which well okay no I'll already spit it out. This this is the weirdest karaoke Japanese karaoke session I've ever seen. Well, it is Japan. Uh, Jova, <laughs> does New Orleans? Have you ever been to that nightclub in New Orleans that had weird Japanese people dressed as schoolgirls doing a dance? No, and you know okay, there is actually a Japanese Hello. district. Hey, you know what? There is a Japanese district in Los Angeles. Which is actually kind of 
which is actually kind of part of the reason why Ace Attorney can get away with that localization. Of course, stuff. the barman has a shotgun under the corner. I thought you were going to say desk. New York. Well, oh, well, 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 yeah, of course, New York also, well, technically that's more so Chinatown. <laughs> oh, the chef just runs away. <laughs> like... Yeah. Technically, New York City has a Chinatown, but I guess there would probably be a Japanese district. But again, that just makes me wonder, why set this in New Orleans instead of L.A. or New York City? Are you kidding the me? The entrance is in the freezer. Brilliant. I mean, Team Rocket had an entrance in a slot machine, but this is beyond that. Uh, wouldn't be the craziest thing I've seen in the Marvel Universe. Okay, open it then. Huh. What the fuck, See, he was actually right. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> um, uh, sir? Um, yes. it's open season on sockets. Oh, yeah. Well, in that case... Pfft, yeah. Shot my first one. <laughs> So, uh, now that we found the, uh... Team the, Rocket's uh, hideout, let's see okay, where okay. Giovanni <laughs> is. <laughs> okay, I gotta say... Back on the teleporters for I gotta long. say, part of the charm for this movie is that even though it's violent and gory as all heck, it's still some of the silly stuff that you would expect mm -hmm. from a superhero about a media. But again, it's just the right middle ground. Oh my god, are we about to go Captain America 2 on this? <laughs> Sorry, Jova, no giant face of Arnie Zola on the screen. No. Yeah, the own half of downtown... Uh, um, that's it, okay. Downtown Los Orleans. And that building looks like it could be... Oh, you know what, never mind. You want it to be in New Orleans? Fine. You get out of your own mess movie. Uh, Robert Duckies? Yeah. What? Rubber ducky, yes. you're the one. He's you got a particular taste, don't you know, fun. guys? Steven, you need to grow up, seriously. No, 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 don't you see? He's a big fan of Sesame Street with Ernie. But, well, maybe, well, <laughs> Sesame, well Stephen, Norrington, Stephen Norrington's British, and uh, Sesame Street was aired around here for a bit. Also, that kind of coffee was hilarious. Wow. State of the art. Translation complete. It me it reads, drink your Ovaltine. Son of a... So, drink yeah. your blood. <laughs> Not your own, I mean... You know what I mean. Hmm, according well, to the Well, Count look, Trocula told me that vampires prefer cereal over blood. According to the CGI program on this, it seems that there is an ancient ritual that uses the makings of what will later be Minecraft to perform a satanic ritual that will empower vampires. Now, keep in mind, I haven't, I haven't not really that into the Blade comics, so I don't even know if Deacon Frost is actually a character. Oh my god, that guy looked like, uh... <sighs> That guy looked like... In the comics, let me check. Oh my god, um... Th th one of those guys in the background looked like Chris Pratt. Oh, actually, oh, yeah. Deacon Frost is, actually is a character. Started, started in 1973. Although he's much older in his comic book counterpart. So he does get to tell him his message. Well, of course. <laughs> What were we watching? Yes, yeah, shut up. <laughs> I'm just telling nope. you this on the edge of a building. <laughs> uh, well, at least he didn't throw him off the edge. Well, he's gone Easy. over it. He's gone over it now, though. Oh my God! I think he may be about to. Uh, nothing as sexier but uh, lemon post biting. This is weird. Yeah, yeah. Aww, um, the go ducky. wash it. Go wash it off. But yeah, now he's saying, "Screw the girl, I won't play." Oh, you want him alive? <laughs> okay. 
Yes, I said I said that. You're deaf. Hmm? Yeah. Ew. What the fuck am I not looking at? Oh my god, that... So that's what I'll become if I don't watch my diet. Uh... Ugh. Pearl? Yeah. Well, technically we... this isn't their first we... meeting, it's... Do we seriously... Yeah, there you go, thanks. Like, did we seriously need that shot with the navel in the, in the background? So, what the heck happened to this young lady that made her, her uh, she looks like that guy who got cursed in, uh, Highlander the Source. Yeah. Oh, it's a video game. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a video game. Next year, we tell me Angelina Jolie is really a hacker. <laughs> Again, you. Know, if I wish, if 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 directing didn't work, maybe Stephen Norrington should have stayed in this kind of line of work. So, who the heck is playing Pearl? Let me check. Stop shining that thing on me! Then I can finish my sentence in English, please. Really. The character's name again? Pearl. Pearl. Uh, no mention on Wikipedia. I'll check IMDb. Yeah, I'm checking that as well. You sound so convincing, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, can you shut her up, please? With pleasure. Jesus, fuck. Wow, she's showing no mercy. Well, considering how vampires have kind of had a high rate of being nasty, cruel, mean bloodsuckers who pretty much could care less about those they eat, they kind of had it coming. Eric has he moved. moved. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's a guy playing that woman? The pony kinda... is a woman. No, a man, sorry. Oh, really? Wait, I thought Pearl was a woman, though. The character. I don't know. Um, since ah. then, he's been in, um, some American other stuff. Dead, uh, mostly. Well, at least he got the better Seth MacFarlane project. Yeah. Parks and Recreation. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Funny, Chris Pratt was one of the main <laughs> stars off of Parks and Recreation. Maybe that background The Vampire artist? Bible. Everyone's gotta have one. Who wants who wants crispy fried pearl? No I mean. Nah, looks too fatty. Yeah, I'll pass. Eh? I'll Did pass. Did you hear that? It was a horror sound. <sighs> oh no, it's Sean Connery. No, no, no! This is your conscience. Stop Lady Trinity from happening. I got a bad tax to pay. Oh, wait. Evade, evade, evade. Okay, can you stop doing that, please? Uh, just attack him already. Yep, uh, nope. Or her. Um. Hi. Do you uh, come here often? Wait. Oh, <laughs> it was a trap. Of course. The very building we've Ooh. been in. Ooh. Hey, this is these are very expensive scrolls. Uh. Yeah, these are very expensive scrolls here. That was a beast left. I love how, despite the intense fight, the music is very subdued. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually interesting. It's just letting us admire Wesley Snipes' uh, martial arts skills. Ooh. 
You cut my arm off, you bastard. Now I'm going to cut yours off. Uh, oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not an impressive. That fool's baby behind was better. So what you're saying, Dwebs, is if someone slaps you in the cheek, punch the fuck out of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell, remember, Pedro, as we established earlier, apparently, according to you, if you stand, <laughs> if you stand on my toe, I'll hold a grudge at L. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, you're talking about the, the joke I made in preference, Rev? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, apparently, if you stand on my toe, I'll uh, hold well, a grudge. Well, that's more so me making fun of how Sherman just wants to destroy oh, yeah, everything sure. that moves. <laughs> Punch the punch the body armor. That'll work. I oh, remember that. That was more so me making fun of the fact that German wants to destroy yeah, every yeah, single yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, it's silver. Either you give me the silver so I can pawn it off, or um, or I'll use it on. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, shoulder or I'll, bone. Or I'll do that. Yeah, because you stabbed me twice. Ha ha ha! Getting stabbed is funny. Uh, what? Calvary here. Nope. <laughs> Freeze! You're under arrest, shitheads. Oh, he's Whistler. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give Whistler this. He's crap company, but he has the uh, dexterity to back it up with. Wait, wait. No guns? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Here's the... great, great instructions to give to your troops of facing a guy who has a gun. Here's the thing, they don't want to damage the documents. <laughs> but they were throwing him in through those things. Also, let's not forget, Libs, they want Blade alive, so yeah. <laughs> to damage make the documents, was... they were throwing him through it. There's also the fact that they want Blade alive, and bullets may, uh, bullets may mess with that. Oh. More seizure. Yeah, <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. Still also try doing that line. It was said by the great guy who did Shaft. And yet well, this movie uh, did it better. Oh. Well, uh, so much for the uh so much for the priceless scrolls, eh? Yeah. Yep. Well hey, it's the bad guy's loss, not ours. But we could have sold them. We could have funded our evil vampire empire. Again, that's the bad guy's problem, not the good guy's. But now we're in... Uh, uh, does New Orleans have an underground subway? Yes. <laughs> um, the, those two Irishmen's actually John convinced they would have gone... Would, would, they would have made yeah. it. So. We're gonna make it! We're gonna make it! Oh! Um, yeah, I wouldn't touch it, love. Otherwise, you'll end up, uh... uh oh, oh, wait, she's touching it. Yep. <laughs> now, did she hit Blade by mistake? Ooh. Now, that's what we like to call using our heads. And again, he lost the And he lost his other arm. What an idiot. Well, guess that'll leave him to be rather armless then. Don't worry, there's um, plenty more where that came from. Uh, hello, police. I'm on the underground. I'm on the underground train. I'd like to report a man who. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to report a man who cut off this other guy's arm. Okay. Did the All other right, guy actually survive? All right, There's nothing to see here. Just walking. Uh, on. Oh, he, no one. he ran away. Okay, seriously. What. I so not believing all these movies but pretend that subways uh, at any kind of hour are completely empty. There's oh, always yeah. someone. Blades dislocated his shoulder. Oh. Ooh. 
Good job you got a doctor me. on your side. That reminds me, one of my favorite scenes from the Defenders TV show was actually all the Defenders riding a subway, and there were actually other people out there that commented on them. Oh, there's the serum. <laughs> no, no. Well, at least I feel like I can finally calm down now after that. Uh, you don't you only scene. realize that uh, now? Half. Half, half vampire. I believe the technical correct term is Dampier. Mm. Backstory. Time for backstory. Although it's mostly told and not much is shown. Yeah, I've, I've, for a second there, I've, they were. Uh, yeah, this they, is actually a weird case where the backstory, the origin story, is actually not shown that much. I guess back then, origin stories weren't really important, although it's odd in this case because. Blade isn't exactly one of the more well-known. Yeah, it's not like yeah. with Spider-Man or Batman where you just immediately click in. I wonder if it's because they were saving you my know guess, what for Blade too. My guess is David. Um, my my guess is David didn't care much for it since uh, David is not exactly the most uh, keen. The, the the guy who is most keen on origin story stuff when he writes these movies. Hmm. Rem yeah, remember, yeah, yeah. remember, he pretty much rushed through Batman's origin story in BVS. So Which and Man of Steel, and Man of Steel's. Yeah, that well, too. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on. I think Man of Steel actually told the origin story fleshed out in a manner. I mean, that's not to say it was necessarily good, but I never got the sense of rushing through the origin story in Man of Steel. Now, Batman v Superman, yes, but it's Batman, so that's warranted. So why did he hunt them? Oh, uh... lost everyone. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Chris Christopherson. Uh... Like I said, it's he's a Marvel superhero. You are legally obligated to have some form of tragedy. <laughs> like Spider Man, one of the most upbeat heroes, has mountains of tragedy. <laughs> yeah, there's there. the whole joke about Spider Man actually. Uh, being a magnet for despair and misery for the people. It's getting the point um, some people are thinking he makes the quits just to hide the pain. It always has to I do. A... Go ahead. I got a question, actually, guys. Go ahead, if, if if Blade ever came back in like the MCU, who would you want to play him? Oh, there's a lot That's of people who could play question. him because apparently Wesley Snipes actually wants to reprise the role. I'd you know, I mean, if Wesley that, Snaps has still got it, then by all means. I mean, there Blade are also doesn't have technically a proper age, quote-unquote, so even if Wesley Snaps looks a bit older, it should be fine. Yeah. And hey, I mean, you know, if Avengers 4 ends up clearing off a lot of the main cast members we got... Well, more, more we'll... like the, 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 the direction the MCU will take after Avengers 4. That said, though, I'd rather he get a movie rather than a TV series, since MCU TV series seems to be getting axed lately, even the good ones. Okay, thankfully, Daredevil Season 3 is definitely a nice improvement from Season 2. Though, I get Iron Fist being cancelled, because it's Iron Fist, but Luke Cage, and yet Jessica Jones is apparently still kicking, even though that one got lukewarm reception, and that was with the season with David Tennant in it. So basically, for every vampire Blade kills, he feels that he gets a little piece of the life he tried to have back before. So it's actually an inverse him. case of, oh, if you kill them, you'll just be like them. <laughs> the, the, the vampire oh, friends uh, bickering amongst themselves. Yeah, I agree with her. Yeah. I'm not giving you a hand this time. <laughs> it's like in Metal Gear Rising, where right, he's like, oh shit, not again! <laughs> he gets his hand chopped off. He's like, oh, for God's mm -hmm. sake. Patience. We gotta... <laughs> now, come on, we've got quite a handful to do. <laughs> Get your head in the game, bro. 
I don't want you sticking your fingers in. Could do the most harm. Uh, okay. Gay? Um, Steve, uh, I, we don't want to see. Oh your wait, sexual never mind, life. never mind, never mind. We just had to cut to Steve and Dorf doing it with his vampiric girlfriend, played by. Let's see. Oh, oh that's wait. right. This is what, why we're, uh, the thing that we're staging. Now it's time for the younger generation to rise up and dethrone the old guard. <laughs> so yeah, Frost oh. Lover is called Mercury, and she's played oh, by yeah. Arlie Jover, who's a Spanish actress. Uh, oh, guys, uh, we're going to have a nice day out at the beach. Yeah. With one of the vampire overlords. How? Yeah, oh, Gaetano. of course it's a night. By the way, guys, have you checked your watches as to what time it is? <laughs> it's Wheeler time. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> Ew. Let off some steam, mate. Yeah, come on. Who wants? Of course, you want to see a good sun. Who wants to see a good sunrise? I mean, I hate Frank Miller too, but even but even the Goyer is, uh, is uh, much better than him, at least. I mean, wow. Oh. Look, I mean, I mean, Goyer is by no means a bad writer. He's just a guy who, well, like most comic book mm. writers, can be a bit finicky, which doesn't always work as well for movies as it does for comics. I say this right now, it's best when he can focus strictly on just being a writer. Yeah, I love how he's, I love how he's just talking so casually, even when the guy is slowly dying because of the sunlight. Yeah. What are you doing? Taking uh, his mouth wide and say, "Ah." Uh... Oh, he's taking his canines. Wonder what? Oh, probably to. So he doesn't have the occasion of replenishing bl uh, blood. You're not the guy who should make fun about missing limbs uh, or stuff like that. Hmm. Also, how are they? How are... Shine. No, don't how flash are... me! Yeah, oh god. Be, how, how oh, are they? oh, that's some bad oh, CGI. Oh, yeah, that's, that's why. Huh. So maybe Monster Family took inspiration oh, from god. this? Oh god. Yeah, um, Stephen Norrington apparently did not learn that he shouldn't do CGI when it came to League of, when it came to LXG. I just took him out to enjoy the sunrise. A double one score. Yep, and just like that, he's now overtaken the. Well, it the was the boss, and he was next in line, so them's the rules. Yeah, he was so fixated by the by the sunrise. He uh, he, he 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 just he, he was just burning up inside, don't you know? <laughs> the Book of Erebus. That sounds like a lame spin-off of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> The Blood Gods. <laughs> blood for the Blood God! Sorry, what I'm a reference. Trying to cure yeah. vampirism, are we? Well, she, uh, again, uh, she's a doctor, so... Yeah, that would dream. You know, she seems actually rather useful. Hopefully she'll be a great help in the sequel. She's not in it. <clears throat> For no reason. Oh, what Jesus. The... Oh. Okay, maybe not that one. Guess we need another microscope. <laughs> I wonder if that oh. scene was actually genuine, like the, the reactions were genuine. Oh, she's using it as a weapon. Oh. Wow, okay, I guess... <laughs> It literally takes a couple of seconds to drain some of your blood, Blade. Come on, it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, blood, please. Yeah, be a good boy. Yeah, give, give blood. 
See, this is how you do an injection. Jesus fuck. Also, Whistler is not really feeling that good. Oh! Yikes! Oh, uh... Okay, that might explain his death wish tendencies. Yeah, because he's gonna die anyway. Then again, I guess what better way than to have somebody who's not afraid of dying be your main backup? That oh, apparently, as of, as, of the day we're, as of the day we're recording this, Chris Christopherson's still, still kicking at the age oh. of 82. He's, uh, well, he's, well, he's similar to, like, say, um, Let Me Kill Meister was, uh, in a sense that uh, despite his lifestyle of being um, a comp like a musician, a singer, uh, and also an actor here, um, he's still very active and uh, kicking as much as he can. Yeah, he's a country uh, singer. Yeah. Mm. In case you haven't got from the appearance. So how does a country singer get roped into a movie starring vampires? He's yeah. an, he, he has actually, he has actually been an extra for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, they didn't catch the vampirism virus in her in time. And she's going to kick it in about one to two days. Oh, wow. wow. Maybe that's why she's not in the sequel. Sucks. Yeah, it sucks because she's a vampire. Wait. Isn't she technically not a vampire, just... Uh, no, they're just going to be one. Yeah. Oh, so she is going to be a vampire. Basically, yeah. Trova, uh, Chris started acting officially from, since 1971, and uh, he's still going to this day, actually. Hmm. Ew. Oh, here's the, uh, here's the scene where Snipes used his power of, power of producing. <laughs> How are you out in broad daylight? Steven, we don't really want to know. Uh, yes, yeah, Steve, how are you time. not? How are you not burning up? I remember he has that sun cream thing. That sunblock. That sunblock. Yeah. It's like protection three hundred or. Oh so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some sunblock. You put on sunblock just so you could taunt Blade. Why don't all the vampires do that? Yeah, I guess it's a, it, it takes too it takes too much in terms of resources and effort to, to be actually worth it. <laughs> That's funny, Stephen Dwarf, considering the role you're gonna play in Alone in the Dark. <laughs> Yeah, the villain very poorly tries the whole "you're a monster," the, pe the humans will never like you, and stuff like that. Hmm. Yes, of course. That convinces me. The very guy who's made a profession out of killing. It's similar to when Mephiles tries to convince Shadow to go to the dark side. He just he, he he thinks he's trying, but he does it very poorly. You see, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. <sighs> Of course, he wants to make a new master race. Yes. <laughs> Mascara. <laughs> okay. Ooh, truce. But why? The spirits of the Twelve <laughs> will awaken La Magra. What the hell is La Magra? Is, I think, something tied to those. The Blood back. God. Yeah. Uh, yeah, looking at your film careers, I'm not quite sure you should be calling him the idiot. Well, it's so like Snipes' career was much better after, after Blade Trinity. Well, I mean, yeah, but like I said, Snipes, well, like you yourself said, Snipes himself did eventually write himself, but nowadays he has a respectable enough career despite many bumps in the road. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dodge Matrix. Oh, Again, this movie bro. did a, lot, a couple of we... things uh, before or the uh, Oh, shit. Oh my god, the girl. Well, I'll give Blade this. He's got his priorities in order. Or uh, Oh, crap, 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 crap. 
trap? We... What kind of traffic bus doesn't stop for a girl clearly in the middle of the road? And how does she survive being thrown through that? Maybe she's descended from Phoenix Wright. Traumatize. Right. Enjoy your mental scars, sweetie. <laughs> I mean, geez, are you descended from Phoenix Wright? How did you serve? How did you come out of that without any cuts or anything? No idea. She's a vampire. For all we know, actually, she could have. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, um, so she's still testing to see if she can cure the vampire virus and stop herself from becoming a vampire in the, um, was it one or two days she has left? One or two, I think. Yeah, one to two. How does that even work? I mean, technically, doesn't being a vampire become injected into your DNA upon being bitten anyway? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it sounds like somebody's trying to cosplay as Dracula from Symphony of the Night again. What is a man? But a miserable pile of secrets. Gosh. Yep, we got, uh, we got an intruder. Ryan? Is that you, Reynolds? Considering what happens in the next couple of movies, this place is far from being secret. Blade should really get another location. Or a bodyguard. One who is very vigilant. And one who isn't 60 years old. Or blind. Ugh, oh, Jova played Trinity again. Wow, oh. you're kicking the old man while he's down. Thief, that's a low blow even for you. And of course, he's not even gonna bite him because that would just risk making him a vampire. Yeah, oh. I don't know, vampire Chris Christopherson sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, but would he work for him is the question. Jeez. Yeah, do your thing. And what is his thing exactly? Probably brutalizing. Let me guess, crucifixion. Because symbolism. Uh. Yeah. Oops. Familiar. How nice of them to leave that guy behind. Oh, sorry, I was just sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the whistler made a huge mess or something. Oh. Hmm. Apparently we got really creative. Play yeah. me. Oh, very funny. And... Oh. You. Uh... Whistler. Well, Whistler's seen the uh, better days. Yeah. Whoa, you're still alive? Despite everything. A vampire apocalypse. <laughs> really? You know, these villains really need to learn to start small before they go all grandeur. Yeah, you should really start with a few little things, like uh, maybe making a vampire out of a mutant girl. Who knows? Yeah. I wonder who the Daywalker could be. Well, this blade, they established that right at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Why? <laughs> because well, if remember. Frost gets him alive, then that's the ritual complete. Game over. Yeah. What 
good is your cleaning gonna do? Oh, classy. Uh, they bit him. They bit him so that Blade might have to finish him off. Yeah, how long really? does, how long did they gone? How long, how long did they gone? Leave you think Blade would have scooted over there ASAP? I mean, you know, I mean, he had at least, I think, an hour or two with um, uh, Wright's character, yeah. so... Yeah. Give me the gun. No. Give me the gun, damn it. No. Yeah, he's gonna have Whistler do it himself. Yeah. Huh. That's a surprisingly heroic way to go out. Yeah. Without having Blade compromise his morals. Aw, it's nice to see Blade still has that caring side deep, deep, deep he inside. Just wants a hug. Well, yeah, considering how tortured he's been, holy cow. Okay. Wait, what about the tape? Yeah, what about the tape that said play me? Children, that is bait. And that and we'll never okay. see him again. Ever, never, ever. Unless, what if he was a vampire already, in which case, maybe that Oh, yeah, hey, that's the tape. Oh. Edge. Edge with towers. Yeah. To rescue the girl who may or may not become a vampire eventually. Now it's time to... Montage, I guess. With more silver. Got him. Montage. With Wesley yeah. Snipes doing his free fight you can meditation. Can I feel anything about Whistler's corpse in the back there? Apparently not, Joe. Apparently not. Not even gonna give him a burial? Or I guess a burning if you're going supernatural? No. It's time for signs to again. save the day. Oh, there you go. That's the chemical that the girl made. Oh, I know this one. Oh, okay. Oh I, oh, oh, I know this one. You're supposed to match the the little lines with the so that you can make them all white, and that will cause the pattern. So you can decipher the component, right, Whips? Yes. Yes. Um, it'll take like five thousand tries, but we'll get there eventually. Maybe for then you. Again. <laughs> then Babes, again, you, I... you also have the option just to just keep over them. Yeah. I guess to be fair. Oh wait, that's right. It's not a cure. It's something to absolutely destroy. Yeah, basically. Well, that she she he discovered that accidentally. Basically, if you inject it in the blood of vampires, it uh, <laughs> makes makes it explode. But make you explode. Or we just see him there doing nothing. At least let her watch some TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we've got BBC One, BBC Two, well, Teo, uh, we're not in the UK. Well, Teo, here's the thing, she wouldn't be much of a hostage if she was just being perked, uh, this wouldn't even be a proper kidnapping if she was just allowed to just, you know, chill out. I mean, You'd be it worked work, work with Mokuba, I guess. You'd be surprised, Pedro, sometimes the best hostages are the happiest hostages. <laughs> You're hitting on me. Well, at least he's, uh... St Steven, he's you know we turned on the camera. You don't have to say this. You're hitting on me while your girlfriend is sitting right across from you. I'm yeah. pretty sure she doesn't care about polygamy. True, yeah. yeah. She probably would enjoy all the more fun. Especially with the way vampires seem to go in this one. Like, holy cow, the only thing vampires seem to love as much as blood is sex. Well, extreme, extremization of uh, wild instinct. And I guess you could say it's technically bloodlust in there. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So he was bitten, not born a vampire. Again, just like, again, again with the metaphor of the new generation of mafia bosses. Being not that, uh, the, the pure ones. Uh. <laughs> well, I guess he's making history, then. No, please, I don't want to remember that. Uh. 
Again, dude, you just became one of the first ever non-pureblood vampire leader whatevers. Maybe you should start a bit small before going on to the vampire apocalypse. Maybe actually that's the opposite. He wants to prove himself to the rest of the world as a res because of this. Oh, you're gonna kill the whole fucking world. Yes, 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 yes. He wants to prove himself to the entire vampiring world after he got completely scot-free off of murdering his boss. Oh. Allow me to play the world's smallest violin. I ain't gonna make an intruder. I wonder who could that be? Oh my it's god, it's... Howard the Duck. The Whistler somehow come back from the dead. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, Joe, but uh, if it's too small of a violin, it wouldn't be technically be considered a different instrument. I forgot which name it is. Uh, no, uh, SpongeBob joke. Uh, Someone's got a bit of PTSD. Again, we have turned the camera on. Yes, sure. because not just... <laughs> it really... really feels as if the actors were just yeah. improvising. One guy on foot or on bike. I'm just gonna assume you're all vampires or branded. Which, come to think of it, you probably are since none of you seem to be marked officers of the law. Hey! You have to the the ammo chief! ADAFK. I know that he is shooting <laughs> you all, but uh, please try and find a way to subdue him. Yeah, shoot his knee or something. Yeah, Blade, Blade ain't having that shit. Yeah. You know, that's an interesting about Blade. He deals with tragedy in a way that's quite different from most superheroes. No sobbing scene or nothing. I mean, sure, he's got tears to shed, but he's uh, pretty much got a silent, tranquil electric fury. electric batons? What the fuck? Well, Again, hey, it'll subdue him. Well, Snipes wants to show off his martial arts. Sure, why not? And hey, electric batons will subdue without killing. Now let's see how Ooh. that uh, little serum works. Have a good poke in the eye. And a poke in the chest. Oh, Ooh. Jesus. Ah. Oh, that CGI. <laughs> Gotta wonder, um, was that is that better or worse than Death by Sunlight? Probably worse. Uh. Congrats, nurse. Uh, You've created a new thing for vampires to fear. It certainly looks more painful. Yeah. What well, CGI? <laughs> again, with uh, again, it really is so much stuff of it. The uh, Wachowski is clearly copying with. Honestly, the I think for 1998, the CGI looks fine. But yeah, I mean, he's got the, a point. There's a lot of copy. The lever stuff. jacket, the slow mo bullet time, the white the, room, the sunglasses. Yeah, the mirror, the, like getting into the room with the motorcycle and shooting everyone like that. Uh, with and the let's not forget, that. they almost got Lawrence Fishburne for this role. It seemed. I mean, we're coming to a point where it's too much of a coincidence. And I mean, the Wachowskis have kind of gone on record to not be the most creative people I know. Hello. Uh, Pedro says the reptile ghost in the shell the most. Wow, um... This is awkward. Uh, hey, uh... Hi, Mom. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing in the bad guy's coffin bed? Well, this, it's kind of hard not to when they literally rip out entire scenes, it, like shot the exact same angle and everything. Yeah. yeah. So, his mom may have been working with the same people who killed his family when he tried to have a normal life. But she's been working with the bad guys. So was she evil yeah. all along, or was she well, brainwashed? Well, no, she beca became because uh, oh. she became a vampire. Oh. Well, that's weird. I mean, oh. Wait, so is she his main lover or something? <laughs> oh, God, yeah, does that make you ungrateful, Hey, come on, man. Oh, God. Does that actually make you my stepdad? I get the feeling he's passed out from the fact yep. that Stephen Dorff yep. is his Tom, new Tom, Tom. No, Wait, yep. What now? Steve, Stephen Dorff was the one who bit, who bit, who bit the mother. 
He just oh went full God, professor. So... He, he just went full professor of Zoom, Jova. It, it was me, Barry. It was me who did all those fucking things in your life. Wait, so does this mean that Steven Dorf is technically his father, or I forget? Was she already pregnant when she got bitten? She was already pregnant, but basically Stephen Dorff is the reason why he's part of Empire. As a so Steven Dorf is kind of like his second father. Oh my god, that is... Uh... Jeez. Well, that is... Christmas, Christmas demons will be so awkward. Wow, okay, Blade, it's been a nice night. You've lost one of the closest people you can call to family. It turns out your actual family turned evil and was part of the killing of your regular family. And now you've just realized that, well, that, that guy from Alone in the Dark is now your second father. Oh, and also, even if she has the cure on her, but even if it does work, um, he'll lose all his vampire strength. Which in this situation is not the best thing to have. You know, Joe, so, when you... Yeah. You know, Joe, when you break it down like that, it makes the whole thing sound like a soap opera. <laughs> well, that, well, well, Pedro, a Marvel superhero having a backstory that sounds like a soap opera. Don't Never even get me started before. on Wolverine. <laughs> now, Wolverine, you don't bring the small violin, you bring the regular size violin, as Linkar showed. Like, it's hard Ominous. to think of... Not a bad, not a bad looking set for... A mid mid budget movie, in especially movie. since it's it develops in vertical. Like, it must have cost a lot to make. There's probably make there's probably cost m much of the forty million. Yeah, and also in terms of effort to make it. Uh... Mm. Oh, he took his shades. What a dick. dick. The Temple of Eternal Night. There I was just forget, this... I just forget a building like that. We're vampires! We tend to forget everything every thousands of years. Oh, by the way, now I am the leader of the Council of... Oh, yeah. Um... I, apparently he seems to have had the 12 members of the business captured, or I don't know if they're here willingly... Well, they don't, they don't look very willing, but willing to be here. Up, oh. uh, sir, not for nothing. But shall we take his armor off before we start punching him? It's <laughs> not like brain humor. Or adamantium. You know, it's kind of a shame that a lot of the actors in this movie didn't go on to do some pretty great things. I mean, granted, to be fair, the woman playing uh, Dorf's main lover, Mercury, I guess, to be fair, I don't know if she's really that great an actress since in this movie. She kind of does mostly just um, yeah. horny kissing your, and... Hold uh, out your arm. Oh, God. <sighs> Sorry, we doing this again, well, you know what they say, free time's the charm. I just got this thing. Nah, 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 nah. nah. <laughs> but yeah, the first is so consuming that um, he can't he can't hear anything. Ooh, a serum cure, eh? Well, not cure. Well, it, here's the thing. If you're a certain type of vampire, it'll cure you. If you're the vile kind of vampire, it's gonna hurt. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kid. What's... Mm. Yeah. That's a very good PSA to be given from a murderous vampire. Yeah, well, there you go. Oh, well. Sure. Yeah, listen to your what which blood, human or vampire? Mind controls everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Ooh, spooky. You know, oh, never mind. Blade 2 does that. <laughs> you know, it's a shame that we couldn't have had one of those cool crossovers like that time when Spider Man teamed up with Dracula to aid Blade. Yeah. By the way, yeah, Dracula's actually a character in the Marvel Universe. Even as a son. <laughs> Forget if his son's called Alucard in the Marvel Universe. No, too. it's he has a dumb like Darren or something, and he's the one who beat uh, Jubilee. Oh yeah. So yeah, they're going to use the Council of Elder Vampires or the Council of Douches or whatever they're called as sacrifice for the um for the for the Blood God. Of course. An old friend? Up, down she goes. What the heck, old friend? Why didn't you just bite her, then? Wouldn't that have turned her to your command? I uh, just felt like throwing her down a pit. You know, Steven, being a dick isn't always the most efficient way to fulfill your plans. Just saying. <laughs> oh, his, new, his, his character's name's Deacon Frost, but... Uh, Hello? Oh, uh... Who is this? The, it, was, the, it, was the, it was the doctor who was coming on to her earlier. Yeah. Her ex, or whatever. Is now really the time, dude? So what, is he... So did he recently get turned or something, or what? No, remember, he... He, got, he, got, he got bit. He got bit. Oh, right, yeah. And unlike her, he has not had a good cure, so... Yeah. Yeah. So I guess he's just gonna lie down there and roar. Boring Karen, Karen. Why don't you try and chase after her? You're a vampire. Any, Shouldn't you any, have some super anyway, abilities? Anyway, Jova, the important son of Dracula being to know is called Xarus. Ah, anyway, yeah. there it is. The the blood box, I guess. Oh, goody. Let me guess. It's a fancy Iron Maiden. Oh, boy. Uh... uh... Please, Indeed. no, Mom. Don't make this any more awkward than it already is. Kinky. Uh, not for the good not reasons. sleepwalkers! Yeah. <laughs> what is up? Sleepwalkers is a Stephen King miniseries based off of a book that Stephen King abandoned. Because even Stephen King knew it would be way too silly. Yeah. Yet somebody really wanted to make a miniseries out of it. It's essentially yeah. about two cat demons, mother and son, who have a loving relationship and feed off of people, and the only thing that can stop them is an army of house cats. Of so, course. Uh, yeah, now he's stuck in that thing, and the other half's got little blades near the wrist. So, yeah. Please. Yeah, don't touch oh, me, his please. Name is Eric. Yeah, that's his real name. Eric, um... I gotta oh, wonder, with the change to the vampire, does your psyche change as well? Like, this is now my people, or do you still re retain the mentality? Eric Brooks. It's complicated. Also, guess, personal space lady. I guess it feels a bit weird with the whole mother plotless, oh. because I have so many questions. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh. Oedipus called. He just says you need a boyfriend. Uh, um, when we're done with this, I am reporting you to your fuckeries. Yeah, you know, Mom, I think I'm just gonna rather... Eric, very good. Eric, Bro Eric Brooks uh, is the real name. Yeah, yeah, I'm already. Sorry. Yeah. Well, no hard feelings, son. We well, uh, oh, so greetings, <laughs> my fellow council members. 
You're all gathered here today so you can bear witness to the birth of the blood god. Yay. Yay. Oh, shit. Of course a blood god needs plenty of blood. Well, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it, it, it's not explained the best with his mother. Like, did she turn evil? Was it slow? Did she actually try and be good at first? Again, kind of a shame we didn't actually go more into that with the sequel. Of course, everything has to be pixel perfect with these uh, with these rituals. Yeah. Which, of course, involves leaving nobody to guard the Iron Maiden. Wait, what? My mouth is blood. I'll stay there. <laughs> uh, buy them. Well, son, I can clearly tell that this is going all perfectly good to plan, so I'm just going to leave you in your room all alone. Uh, my, 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 my wrists. Oh, hey, right. Yep. She uh, survived that uh... encounter. Yeah. <laughs> but alas, it may be a little too late. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, we, we, we could be here for some time. It's nothing less. It's catching up. <laughs> No, it can't be that easy. I just know there's probably some guards hidden in this room. <laughs> the vampire doesn't believe in fairy tales. Yes. It's, oh. al it's, it's almost... Yeah. Bay, it's no less ridiculous than your beard. That's the woman in the weird angel white costume. <laughs> that was one of our sacrifices, Angel Mercury. Well then, I guess we'll need a new sacrifice. Yeah. Like we'll be able to get one on such short notice. How is she able to pull that? It's rather easy, actually. Ooh. Yikes. Yeah, but uh that's quite quite a deep cut. Ooh. <laughs> uh, uh, sure, Be calm as sure, gods. Sure, this is your vampire uh co uh, co vice leader, come in please. We're one sacrifice down, sir. What do we do? Oh, um, just uh, replace it with the sap who was stupid enough to kill him. Uh, your girlfriend? Mercury? Uh, yeah, sure you are. God, was she taking stupid pills? She's been acting just fine in this movie up until this point. Uh, she was provoked. Oh, God, of course. It's that time of the month for her. <laughs> Not to worry, sir. I, I, so, I, I, yeah. Let me make a suggestion. The only, the only thing that's left for Blade to do is actually bite her to get some blood from her. How about, oh. that, how about that annoying handler sky of yours? Hmm. Nah, 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 nah. There's still plenty of hand pun oh, jokes we can get out of him. Oh, um, you know who was apparently going to play Deacon Frost before, before Stephen Dorff was cast? Sylvester so Stallone? Uh, Jet Li. That wow. would have been interesting. That's so oh, weird. and guess who else was going to play uh, Frost? Who? who? Uh, Mark Blue, Lip. Blue Lips from Dungeons and Dragons. I would have loved to see that, actually. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yeah, Blade's going to suck the blood from. Um... <laughs> Blade's going to suck the blood from the Doctor. So he can get the blood loss thing out of the way. 
So he's going to, of course, plumping them up with blood from the Daywalker and make them the perfect <laughs> build up sacrifices. Does he really need his shirt off? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, so, again, what about the other sacrifice? We're missing one. You know, whoever makes these rituals clearly has a larger than life perspective on things. Well, also, it's mostly because remember he's, he's lost uh, a lot. Of his, he's lost a lot of his blood. This is no. oddly sexual. Don't overdo it. And <laughs> do we need all these cuts? It's Eyes Wide Shut, the Vampire Edition. Yeah, it came out one year before. Huh. <laughs> oh, no. oh, man. Oh, this movie is a treasure. Well, um, crap, maybe I should have kept watch on the room. Hi, Mom. Jeez. <laughs> Zap. Damn. You know, I just realized one of those vampires looks like John Travolta from Pulp Fiction. A bit, yeah. <laughs> Royale with cheese. <laughs> huh. Maybe vampires really are the stupid. And thus, the council was disbanded. Now, don't Forever. struggle too much, son! <laughs> this is just a little time for some discipline. My mom died 20 years ago. We. <laughs> so, Dorf, question. You're clearly becoming a god, but how does your girlfriend and your best bud become gods during I'm all this? I'm pretty these? sure you just fuck with them. You wouldn't do it to me. <laughs> I'm your mother. Uh eh. You tried to kiss me earlier. Well, I'll give you the sugar now, yeah. Uh Wait, what? Well, crud! I must release you. Oh god. I've gotta get out of this movie! Quick! Get out of our skins! <laughs> <laughs> there's the truth, uh, there's actually the truth. There was a skeleton inside every one of us. So. No, this is where the 90 CGI stuff come really becomes more apparent. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, you know what? It's 90 CGI. I'll take it. And it looks gloriously hairy. Mm -hmm. It was oh. better than Stephen Norrington's attempt at 2003 CGI. Ugh. What the fuck is even going on? Like, we're just passing through him. Um, maybe we should have planned this out a bit more. Oh boy. Oh boy. Looks like he's got some bloody tears. <laughs> That's a Castlevania joke. Yup. Bye. You're grounded for. For what? Well, I guess I I'm can't not talk grounded. when I'm dead, Beck. I guess I'm not grounded then. Oh, you left yeah. a bone. I am not Deacon anymore. Now I am Beacon. I am Beacon now. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, that's stupid.
Yeah. <laughs> Such an inglorious end. You're so freaking far ahead. <laughs> you, you talk too much. Quick, run at him one at a time! It was... It's worked with everyone else! And this is another sir. actual music that uh, was used a lot in this time period. Ah, uh, but sir, normally whenever we do that with anyone else, they're not a daywalker. Well, it's never failed before! Besides, we're not in the day. <laughs> Kick right. Yeah, being immortal doesn't mean you don't feel that. <laughs> that sound effect. Oh, ha, guard, parry, dodge, spiral, thrust. It's all in your mind. Yeah, do, I'm, I'm, I'm pressing the buttons on my controller, but nothing's happening. I can't do these combos. It's way too cinematic. It's like Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. You gotta remember the right combinations at just the right angle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm surprised Blade doesn't try and lace his boots with silver or something. You know, it is such a missed opportunity that Blade wasn't in any of the Marvel vs. Capcom games. I know, he was actually very requested. And he does show up in the ending with Jill Valentine. Imagine that! Well, I honestly think it would work better as a rival or partner of Dante. Well, well, something I was wondering, why doesn't... Considering yeah. in these films, Blade does a lot of martial arts, why didn't he just lace his boots with silver? I don't know. Yeah, you gotta stab him with silver. Maybe just, just make, like, cleats. Uh, with sil silver cleats oh, or something. Wait. Uh, <laughs> wow, and there goes Mercury. Yep. Silver cleats. <laughs> <laughs> well, dwibs, cleats aren't exactly the most practical thing to wear at all times. Retractable cleats. He doesn't yeah. have that much money. Especially snipes. You save plenty on tax. You can buy them. Yeah, but at what cost? Prison term. Exactly. <laughs> I can do this all day. Oh wait, that's right. None of you can. And he even managed to get his katana back. Hey, yeah. Thanks for killing my girlfriend, by the way. I'll make sure to take Where that out you on you. Where did get your own <laughs> katana? Pro I think it was from Blade's arsenal. And here's the scene that wasn't in the... Sorry, well, Lisa. okay. Yeah, like was said earlier, apparently we have a delay to thank for this awesome sword sequence. So I gotta wonder, what was the ending originally? Um, let me see. Uh, I guess you stabbed him and that was it. In the original ending, according to Wikipedia at least, in the original ending of the movie, Frost turned into La Magra and became a large swirling mass of blood instead of keeping his original form. But it was scrapped because they couldn't get the special effects to look right. Well, you can see it on the DVD as a special feature. Huh. Ooh. So, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, at least it's not a carnage where he can turn his blood into weapons. Oh, well, to, again, to be fair, this kind of blood effect with the recomposing and everything is actually very impressive. Yeah. Near 1998. Yeah. Oh, and, um, oh, f uh, fun fact. <laughs> oh, fun fact about this movie, guys. Yeah. yeah. Not only was this the first box office success for a Marvel movie, um, this was the this was only the second Marvel movie to get a wide theatrical release in the US. It really is a shame guess that which, this movie... Guess which was the first? You know, I joke, uh, but it really is a shame Fantas that this movie no, did oh, not... No, get actually, there. no. The, the Roger Corman Fantastic Four wasn't even released, if I recall. Um, the first one was Howard the Duck. Oh, that's right. Oh, and we all know how that turned out. How do you know that? Because I have within me the knowledge of the Twelve Elders. You mean the script? Nah, nah, nah. I just read the tomes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's you see. You think you can beat works, me so. with the power of science? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. 
Be thankful, be thankful you're not like your. Well, be thankful you're not like your crappy henchman. At least you have your. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, apparently, <laughs> yeah, apparently that apparently that metaphor is trying to be. Oh, he just tried to, you know. Whereas the other ones in the council try to uh, oh, try no. to. Try to earn their way to power. Oh, whoa, whoa. He just, uh, just tried to skate up and get it the wow. fuck away. <laughs> oh. he, he died, and yet his dong did not even expand. What a way to go. Yeah. yeah. So, want to get a shawarma? Want to get some coffee? Um. Hey. Yeah, let's get out of here. Ugh, sorry, I just gotta get my sword. Well, that family reunion didn't quite go as well as we all hoped. Nope. But, um... Could have been worse. Now, what about her disease? Well, let me guess, the city got evacuated overnight. Maybe it's like maybe it really is like the ending in the dark where the city was wiped out in the middle of the night and No 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 two 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 the city got evacuated in one night. And I'm not gonna bring you along even though you made many sequels. You know, okay, so this begs the question. Why isn't he gonna take her along? Like she may. And I'm sure we will see her again in the next movie. Again, she doesn't even die. So, oh, Moscow. 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 Okay. I guess this is a weird way to bring in Colossus from the X Men. But all uh, right. Uh, I can't read seriously. My father is the one usually who knows that. Russian vampires. Proskaya. Yeah. <laughs> Even so the adversary surprise bites you. Then you're like this. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> hey, look! It's supposed that Batman v Superman would rip off later. Oh, well, also, apparently, Blade is capable of speaking. Comrade. Of Good to know. Get it, cause oh, really yeah. It. And that's it. No after credit right. scene with Samuel Jackson? <clears throat> Sorry, nope. don't no. think so. Sorry. <clears throat> Too no, early for that. He would have made such a great addition to the Avengers, but I digress. So, that was Blade. Um, thoughts? Yeah, that's um, fine. It's a good movie. Um, it's definitely very fun, entertaining. It's a blast overall. It definitely has some finicky things that could use some refining, which the sequel would do better. But overall, it's still a pretty good overall fun ride. I think it's just a movie that sadly... Okay, I mean, okay, it was still a box office su success that did spawn sequels. It's just sadly, nowadays, it's not remembered as the one saving grace of superhero movies. It's kind of a shame. Like I said, but it yeah, came out yeah, at the worst was... possible time. Yeah, the acting yeah. is good, if not over the top at times. I'd say the casting is well placed and all. The script is deliciously cheesy, what I expect from a comic book movie. And yeah, there's okay, it's got just the right balancing of stoic, serious, and gritty, but also remembers to have a good <laughs> sense of humor. Because Lord knows, with so as much tragedy as there is in this movie, we need some laughing time. And the music is definitely well, nice, and engaging. And the effects have aged relatively well. So, yeah, Blade is definitely a plus in my book. A good movie and one I recommend you see. All right. Yeah, it's enjoyable. All right. Uh, I'll is go it next. all for you? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll go, I'll go next. Uh, pretty much what Jova said, uh, this movie is actually very enjoyable, even more so than the first time I watched it. Uh, um, mm -hmm. it, may have a bit, it may be a bit rough on the edges, uh, maybe some of the CGI is clearly dated, but I don't know. I think it's uh, 
fine enough uh, for practically almost all of it. Uh, not even that much to complain about the plot uh, or the characters in general. So that's a, it's a nice one. Nothing that you can take too seriously and just enjoy it for the ride. And again, uh, it's a, it's a, it's good for the character as well. I really hope uh, Blade, the, char- the character of Blade, will see a resurgence in the future for the MCU. Mm-hmm. Next. Okay, so, uh, no, no, okay sorry uh, i was distracted uh yeah it's a fun enough movie it's just uh, I, I, like it, it's it's fine it, it is uh an, uh enjoyable they have some fun moments i don't think it's uh it's not something that I would go out of my way to watch like regularly again again mm-hmm. if, if like if i have nothing else to watch yes I, i'll sure i'll sit but it's not exactly something that i that i feel all that strongly about it's just a fine enough action movie and that's basically it like there's nothing particularly great about it. But there's nothing particularly bad about it either. It's just a a, fi- a, move, a serviceable movie that does what it sets out to do fine enough. That's basically it. There's not that much to say about it, honestly. The special effects look um, fine enough for the, for the time that they came out. As I've, uh, well, this time it's great in it. So the acting is overall solid enough. Again, it's just an overall solid enough movie. It's serviceable. That's really all there, there is to it. That's it. All right. All right. Believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a good movie, and you know, certainly some uh, certainly the comic book films in general needed a movie like this after after the two hammer blows the previous year that were Batman and Robin and Steel. Oh you know? yeah. Um, and you know, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed that what I'm not not that I, I understand that this film is recognised as being part of the reason why comic book films got their resurgence but i think it was it was really so close to you know the the two death knells to comic book films again it's it's it's, a, it's the worst timing possible but i don't think it's the movie's fault it was just a victim of the circumstances it's like yeah. what happens when the usa changes presidents like let's be quite honest we're right now we're in an economical resurgence but that's thanks to obama not to trump and vice versa when people blamed obama for the deficit when that was really george Bush w Bush Jr., yeah. jr's fault so what did george if we're, if we're, if we're, if we're going back and like it was the previous president's credits hey, it's a weird cycle babes the job was just using it as a metaphor don't worry continue. yeah all right, so uh, that was Blade. Uh, join us next time for when we do Blade Two. Looking forward to it. I have fond memories, and hey, my hey, my uh, my thoughts about this movie improved from the first time. So hopefully, Blade Two should be the same. All right, yeah. see ya. All right, see ya. Ta ta.